It's fall, you know what that means? Everybody's gonna use every kind of excuse in the book to neglect their health. Listen, I know it and you know it. You're gonna try and use any excuse in the book to get out of eating healthy, going to the gym, or doing something active. Mommy, really, who's, who's this gym guy I think he really is? Here are some really simple ways that you can take away to avoid the debauchery of your waistline. One simple fact is stop overeating. Everyone takes these massive plates, piles them up nice and high, eats it, and then goes back for seconds. Instead of going back for seconds and loading up your plate, make your plate a little bit smaller, don't pile it high, and let your body digest. Alcohol. People like it. And that's fine, it's the holidays. Have a couple glasses of booze. However, drink something clear like this. This is gin and water. I know, it sounds boring. But the point of this is, don't go for the sugary shit. Go for something a little bit less. Try a gin and tonic, a water vodka with lime. Just avoid the sex on the beach and the popular shit. I know, mother's cooking is so good, so you leave the house with a bucket of leftovers. Here's the thing. Stop taking it home. Desserts, they're amazing. I love desserts. I love them. I really do. That being said, if you're going to indulge in some dessert, have one piece of pie. One. Not two. One. I know, the holidays. They're a scheduling nightmare. I mean, it's so hard for me to put in the calendar that I have three social outings to do. If you can't tell by my face, it's sarcasm. We find it so easy to schedule outings when we're eating bullshit and drinking a ton of booze. But yeah, we find it difficult to schedule time for our own health, like going to the gym, or taking the dogs for a walk, or using time to meal prep. Yo, we got our priorities on lock. For this holiday season, can we please focus on willpower? Willpower is going to prevent you from eating five pieces of pie and mom's homemade brownies. Put it in your schedule, your time of exercise. Could be two days a week or three. It doesn't need to be five. Even shopping. Shopping is great. Why? Because you're walking. However, don't screw it up by being out there and drinking soda and eating pizza because you're in a rush to buy your kid the new uh, Elmo. So if your schedule starts to pile up, make the decision to meal prep so that you're not eating out or not eating. Maybe change up your workouts instead of an hour and a half into a 20 minute HIIT workout. If you're the one scheduling the outings for your department or for your friends or for your family or whatever, be conscious of where you go. All you can eat buffets are honestly a recipe for disaster. I mean, who doesn't want unlimited dessert and unlimited egg rolls? So at the end of the day, be aware, be responsible, and have some willpower. Please. I don't want to hear you complaining after the holidays, and I sure as hell don't want you to be one of those New Year's resolutions people. Some food for thought. You know, if you're eating like sh I don't know, for like two weeks. Don't think a crash diet's gonna fix anything. If anything, it's just gonna make it worse. I'm doing the soup diet. So on that note, I hope everyone's taken a little lesson from this video. I wish everyone the best for the rest of 2016. May all of you prosper over the pumpkin pie. And with everything going on in the world, let's all just get together and live life not being a dick. Now go on. Go get shit done. I'm gonna do the skinny tea diet because I'm gonna get skinny drinking tea.